Hi, Rob here from Marine Industrial. We're here today talking about Sikaflex 296 direct glazing adhesive. Right, so our most common uh, technical inquiry we get uh, on our sales counter is definitely, without doubt, uh, on glazing applications. Uh, there seems to be this real, real worry about, am I gonna get the right adhesive? Uh, you know, is my window gonna fall out? How do I need to do it? Uh, actually, the process is really, really straightforward uh, and we're gonna talk with you through that today. So Sticker 296 is our direct glazing uh, adhesive for mineral glass only. Uh, it can be used for other high strength applications. So if you've got applications like bonding keels, lead keels or steel keels back onto boats, sailing boats, um, this is a really, really great product to use. But its primary objective is for mineral glass glazing. Now to do that, we need to make sure that we've got a couple of things in set in place. First off is our primer choice. So um, Sika 207 primer uh, is a black primer. Now we always suggest that for marine glazing applications that this goes on top of a ceramic frit. Um, if you look at your car windscreen, they've got this black ceramic frit all around the outside. Um, that helps to stop UV light getting through and attacking um, the mineral adhesive. So. As a belt and braces approach, we always recommend for, for marine bonding um, 207. Now this is a black primer and it will also help a little bit on UV uh, uh, transfer through that ceramic frit. For the substrate, uh, depending on what it is, generally speaking, it's gonna be aluminium, steel, fiberglass, timber, um, multi-primer marine can be used on all of those. So we're gonna be using that. Um, talking a little bit of technical stuff about it, open time on Sika 296 is around about 30 minutes. It is a really, really high viscous product. So when you're using it, you can tool it off. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that in a minute. But generally speaking, people tend to backfill. So when you're backfilling, when we talk about that, it's basically when you bond your window into the, the boat, you're gonna have a recess around the back. You can use Sika 296 to backfill that. Generally speaking, we recommend using either a product like 295 UV, which is much more easy to tool, or even better still, uh, a silicon. So we can talk about that as well in a short while. So as well as being a structural adhesive, um, Sika 296 has an elasticity to break at about 450%. So even though it's a, a high strength adhesive, it still has a lot of elasticity. And it needs that for the uh, thermal expansion and contraction of the mineral glass. You can imagine when they're out, in, uh, the vessel's out in, in service, you know, in direct sunlight, you know, 45 degrees C, that window's when I want to expand. Adversely at nighttime, it might drop down to below freezing point. So the adhesive's got to have enough elasticity in it to, to take all that thermal expansion contraction consideration. So, without further ado, let's go and have a, have a little play around with the Sikaflex. So we've got our 296 here. We're going to get this all ready, panels prepped. We've got some glass here, which was really kindly donated by Sea Glaze Marine Windows in Rackheath. So this is a piece of toughened laminated glass. We have done a replica frame. We've got some offcuts of aluminium here. That's what we had in stock. So we've masked that up ready to go. Obviously the middle here will be, will be a hole where you have your windows going to be glazed in. Um, so we're going to prep that up, get some braiding done, primers, um, and then crack on. So first things first, we're going to increase surface area. We've got a green scotch white pad. These are great, much better than a sanding disc because they actually scratch the surface rather than removing loads and loads of product. So we're going to go around and give this a good scratch. So we've increased the surface area on our substrate. We're now going to clean and get ready for primer with our Sika Activator 205. Now this is just applied with a lint-free cloth and it will leave a bit of a watermark and that's the adhesion promoter on the surface. So just be super careful about this. Don't Make sure you don't get it on any areas you don't want it to be seen. So just a simple quick wipe on, turn around with the cloth. Always super good practice to make sure that you rotate your um, your paper towels, make sure you're not taking the product off or taking grease off and then applying it somewhere else. So, do that. Great, and that's removed quite a bit of um, contaminant. So that's doing its job now. Now that's gonna take just a couple of minutes just to flash. So while we're gonna do that, we're gonna get the glass all prepped and ready for primer as well. So first things first, we're gonna use some pure acetone uh, we've touched on this in other videos about the importance of using pure acetone and not recycled acetone. It's a little bit more expensive, but it will make the difference between you potentially having a failure or not. So again, a little bit more lint-free cloth, some paper towels here. 
Now it's always worthwhile for the sake of a really quick phone call to your glass supplier and ensuring that actually acetone is going to be okay to use. Um, the last thing you want is a window debonding for the sake of a three minute phone call to your supplier and finding out actually don't use acetone for whatever reason. So anyway, we've just cleaned off the uh, a, uh, a side and B side of the glass, get rid of any fingerprints. That's, acetone has just literally just evaporated straight off. So we're now ready, we'll mask this piece of glass up and then we're ready to get some primer on there. Right, so we're just applying some high quality 3M masking tape to the glass here, just to ensure that actually when we're putting the primers on, we're gonna get a really nice sharp edge. Uh, the last thing you wanna have is a bit of um, primer grinning through the window. So just use some decent quality tape. As I said, this is some stuff from 3M. It's a pretty obvious statement to make, but do ensure that when you're actually doing this, I mean, this has got a, some, uh, this is printed glass, so it's got a, a ceramic frit printed around the outside of the glass. Now that is really important. That actually stops the UV degradation on the bond line. The last thing you want is the sunlight coming through the bond line and attacking the adhesive from where it's bonded to the glass. So this has got some, you can see there, some black, ceramic printing on it. Now the primer we're going to use eventually will be black as well. That will help, but it's an organic primer so it will break down with UV degradation eventually. Um, we talk as well, if you look in our catalogue, we talk a little bit about the importance of ensuring that you protect that bond line from, from UV. Uh, you can see here the ceramic frit on this isn't that big really. I mean, as I said, it's just a sample panel, but ensuring that actually that you get at least Two times the bond, uh, two times the width of the adhesive in ceramic frit. And if you don't, like we haven't on here, what you can do is a couple of options. One is you could paint that on the outside with some high quality polyurethane glass paint. You've got to be really careful with uh, masking up and pre prep on there. Or Seeker actually do sell uh, UV shielding tape, and that is exactly what it is designed for putting on the outside of the glass mask um, and basically protecting that bond line from the outside. So we sell that in one inch and in two inch. Right, so we've masked up the glass. We're gonna get some Sika Activator 100 on where the bond line's gonna be. That's gonna be our first step. Again, it's cleaner and adhesion promoter. So we're gonna pop some of this on some clean lint-free rag. Get our hands in the middle of the glass. And be super critical not to get this on the middle of the glass because it will leave a watermark, which you will not get out. So be super careful with that. Right, first step done. That's pretty much gonna take about, I don't know, a couple of seconds just to flash off there. So while we're doing that, I'm letting that to flash off, we'll go back to our fiberglass substrate. Uh, that's had the activator 205 on it now for about 15 minutes. So we're gonna get some primer on there and that primer is gonna be our multi-primer. So give it a good shake. Then we're gonna be using one of these White Seeker primer applicators that so we sell these individually is absolutely brilliant. So the first things first is we're gonna decant a little bit of this, just enough for what we'll need into a pot. We never introduce foreign objects into the primer tins. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Put the sponge in, that wicks up just enough, perfect amount. Now we can go around our edge. You just wanna apply it once and turn it around. Don't keep going over the same area. This stuff, this primer will flash off super quick. So now that has done its job. So we're gonna dispose of this and get rid of it. Now this prime is gonna take sort of 15, 20 minutes to, to flash and, and start to cure. That now is gonna be all ready for adhesive. All we need to do now is apply our black primer onto the glass. Right, so we've got our substrate is pretty much just flashing off now with the multi-primer. So the final step in this is gonna be our 207 primer. Um, I've got a little 100 mil tin size, uh, size here. Now you can hear if I give it a rattle, we've got a ball bearing in there. There's loads of carbon in here, which just needs to be mixed up. So give that a good shake, a good sort of 30 seconds. Make sure it's fully mixed. So again, same process. We're gonna decant some of that into the pot with one of our magic white sponges again. And again, you can see just how much that's wicked up. Perfect amount for a little window like this. So we're gonna be super careful with this. Just apply one strip to the perimeter where we can see our ceramic frit. And that's that. I mean, this stuff again flashes off super quick, but we're gonna leave that a good 20 minutes just to let it do its job. And then we'll remove the masking tape and then we're ready to get some adhesive on. 
Right, so we've let all of our primers flash off. Um, we're now gonna be ready to get some adhesive on there. So we've got our 296. We're gonna snip the end off that, get it in our gun. So now we're gonna get the Sikaflex onto the glass. It's always best to put this onto the glass first if you can. So to apply this, this is where you need a proper steady hand. Right, so next thing is, we're gonna get this bonded down to the substrate. So all the primers are applied, flashed. We've got our nice triangular beads of Sikaflex here, and we're gonna get this put on place. Um, what you can do is if you buy the bigger panes of glass, obviously you can buy the, um, the suction cups, which make this job a lot easier. So you can get that down and bond it in place. Cool, right, so we've got the glass now in place. Um, now, as I said earlier, it's got loads of green strength, so we can hold this up now. As I said, ideally, if this is gonna be done on an actual boat, we put some chocks in underneath there and make sure that it had something to hold it up. But other than that, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, so if you are in the trade and you wanna find out more about Marine Industrial or the products that we offer, uh, please give us a call on 01692 406 822 or look us up at marineindustrial.co.uk.